Hey guys, it's Max. Welcome to our sneak preview of our Hackintosh step-by-step -step build and installation guide. Now this is just a preview. This actual video is over an hour long and it's literally a complete step-by-step -step on how to take the parts out of the box, put everything in together, get OS X and install it and everything else. People have been asking for this video for a long time. Uh, we've been hesitant to do so uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it just takes a lot of time to do this. And two, there's just a lot of different parts out there. And even if you get the same parts, sometimes there's still small things that come up depending on your software variation, BIOS, so you have to figure out. But as like a bonus to launching our Patreon and one of the exclusive videos that we're gonna be putting out, about one exclusive video a month, uh, we decided to to make this video and it should be just a, the most detailed step-by-step -step Hackintosh guide that is out there, at least anything I found in video format. Of course, all this information is available, available for free. There's a Tony Mac AX86 website. It's just filled with knowledge, great forums with tons of super knowledgeable people, way more knowledgeable than I am. But we just decided to make this for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, this preview. Uh, where you're just gonna see some different shots uh, of, of what's included in the video. And if you guys wanna support us on Patreon, that is already up there and available. There's a lot of other bonus content, early access, exclusive videos, um, and other extras and downloads and all sorts of stuff like that on our Patreon. Now, we decided to launch a Patreon so that uh, we can make more videos for you guys. As you guys know, I have a full-time employee and uh, I have to pay the bills and pay him before I pay myself and feed my two kids and everything else. But I love making these YouTube videos, even though they're not very profitable compared to doing actual work. It's just, I enjoy it and enjoy it when I can help you guys and when you guys love the videos. So we wanna be able to spend more time making more videos and higher quality, more detailed ones, especially we wanna be able to keep more cameras on hand that we don't need. Uh, currently that we can't do to make more comparison videos that you guys just really love and that's really helpful. So th that's basically our goals with Patreon. So for the price of, you know, one coffee a month, you guys can get a bunch of bonuses, exclusive videos, and help us make more videos. So thank you guys very much. Now, I also want to talk about uh, like Hackintoshes in general. Like, is it worth uh, doing, uh, building yourself a Hackintosh? Well, it, it could be worth it. We have, I think three, I'm not using all of them right now, but three of them. Uh, this is the newest one right here. And if you're somebody who wants to use Mac OS and either you just like the platform compared to Windows or you wanna use Final Cut, that's our main reasoning, and you don't have the money, that is a big reason it's worth it. Uh, or if you wanna do more customization, like my other Hackintosh, uh, have, you can have like a RAID set up in there, a Blu-ray burner, you can have different add-in cards that you can put in, and Apple's no longer allowing you to do that. Uh, now on top of that, you can even get way better performance for your money at the same time. So this system by itself with a single GPU uh, at the time that I built it was I think 900 and uh, under a thousand bucks basically. And it performs actually faster than a $4,600 Mac Pro. Now I have the uh, actual comparison video for the benchmarks and the video editing using both Final Cut and Premiere Pro on my channel. I'll have a link in the description and an end card at the end of this video. So definitely go and check that out. Uh, it actually runs cooler under load and quieter under load and it's 25, about 25% faster and it's less than a quarter of the price for the, for the computer itself. So uh, very, very good results. Now who is a Hackintosh not good for? Well, if you're like a small business owner and or just a, an average person and you don't want to deal with any issues that could come up, it's really not for you. If you buy a Mac, it's gonna cost you a lot more, but you have the convenience of having a warranty, uh, walking down the street or driving down the street to an Apple store, and then they're, they're able to fix it for you. You have those conveniences. So if you wanna have the least possible issues and you get frustrated working on computers and you don't have the time to spend figuring some things out, it's not for you. Just pay the $3,000, $4,000 for a Mac or buy a Windows PC. And uh, well, if you buy a Windows PC, you'll probably still have some of the same issues or more actually. But um, if you have the money and you just want a Mac that works and you don't like working on computers or you don't have the time to figure some small issues out, don't, don't build a Hackintosh. But if you want to save money or you don't have the money or you like to tinker or you want to put in internal raids that could be faster than SSDs with tons more storage for less money, burners, add-in cards, accessories, all sorts of stuff like that, and you're willing to spend a little bit of time figuring things out, a Hackintosh is a really good option. 
And now, a Hackintosh, if you get the right parts and you follow my build guide with the, the exact parts that I use, and those parts are in the video description, and you follow the build guide, uh, most likely you're not gonna have any issues or very little. Now, we've had this set up for uh, over six months now, and we really have almost no issues. We have a little Bluetooth USB chip that kind of flakes out, which we just need to get a new one. It's not a problem with the computer. And we also have a cheap, kind of like a, a Chinese uh, four bay hard drive enclosure that's USB. And if that thing's plugged in, the system uh, won't won't boot up. Actually, if it's not if it's started, I should say. But if it's turned off, the system boots up. Or if you unplug it, now we have tons of other hard drives, SSDs, laptop hard drives, big hard drives. No issues. It's just that one particular device. Other than that, it's really been great. So if you get the right parts and you go through the initial setup, making sure you install everything correctly, uh, you're really not going to have very much issues. Now, if you don't follow the right parts or anything like that, you could have more issues. But Tony Mac x86 has a bunch of great info there. So um, basically, hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying seeing some of these parts. It's, we try to do the, the most detailed guide we can. Now, we're not going to be able to offer any tech support or any build uh, support, anything like that, because it's really not what we do. And so if you're going to follow this build guide and then some things do come up, just go on the Tony Mac website. People way, 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 way smarter that know code and know everything else can point you guys to the right direction. But if you've never built a computer before or you have never built a Hackintosh, this is going to save you a ton of time. Uh, the first time I built my Hackintosh, I think I was probably about close to 16 hours to figure everything out. And I think with this build guide, you should be able to do it in way less time. Uh, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Definitely check out the, the actual performance and benchmarking video. This thing is just, it's really impressive. Um, it looks really pretty good right there too. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. There's gonna be a link in the description to our Patreon page where you guys can you know, spend a couple bucks a month and support us to make more great videos and uh, get some bonuses at the same time. Make sure you guys enable those notifications because YouTube is, for some weird reason, unsubscribing people and blocking videos. So you guys don't miss out on some very cool, very interesting things to come. I'll see you guys in the next video.